Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in statics and we're going to do problem 734, okay? It says, determine the internal normal force, shear force, and moment at point E. So we got our truss or our member, okay? And we want to know the internal forces at point E, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to analyze with a cutting here of this member. And the member that we're going to analyze, it's from E to B. Okay, so let's just start by doing a free body diagram. So here we will have my point B. Here we will have my point E. This is where I cut the beam. So this is the cut, okay? Now, if we pay attention on here at my point B, what we have is that we have a pin connections. Therefore, we're going to have two reaction forces given that I'm going to call it BX and by what else do we have on this side well we have this distributed load and for the distributed load we can simplify by the um just a simple force that simple force is going to be the area okay of that uh, distributed load since this is a square all we're going to do is that we're going to multiply 1.5 times 1.5 and this will give me 2.25 kilonewtons okay the location of this load, it's in the middle. Therefore, it's going to be a part of 0 0.75 meters, okay? And then same goes from here, 0 0.75 meters. Now, at my point E, which is where I want to find my internal forces, then I'm going to draw them. So I'm going to have my normal, I'm going to call it normal E. I'll have my shear that I'll call it VE. And then I'll have my moment that I'm going to call the moment E. Okay. After we've drawn our free body diagram, what we can do is that we're going to do the summatory of forces and moments. So summatory of forces, let's start in the X direction. Assuming that going to the right is positive. What do we have? Well, we'll have BX we will have VE and then we'll have minus 2.25 kilonewtons and all this should be equal to zero, okay? Since we want to know the value of VE, we're going to solve for this one. So we're going to have 2.25 minus BX, okay? Uh, we don't know BX, but we can try to find it out later on. We can start doing the summatory of forces in the Y direction Assuming that going up is positive, what do we have? Well, we have positive BY minus NE should be equal to zero. Therefore, if we solve for NE, we'll have that this is equal to BY. So in order to find the normal at point E, all we need to do is find the reaction uh, on my point B on the Y direction, okay? Next, we can apply the summatory of moments about my point E and I'm choosing my point E because I can cancel BE, ME and all I have left it's BY, uh, BX, I'm sorry, not even BY because BY is passing through this point E. So all I have is BX and this force in here, okay? And also obviously the moment. So what do we have? Well, assuming that going counterclockwise is positive, I will have moment E positive. And then holding here, this force will want to rotate my bar counterclockwise. Therefore, I'll have positive 2.25 multiplied by the distance, which is 0 0.75 meters. And then minus negative because this force will want to rotate my bar clockwise. So we'll have minus BX multiply by the distance, which will be 1.5 meters. And all this should be equal to zero, okay? So if we solve for ME, what we will have is that we will have 1.5 BX minus, and then if we multiply these two numbers together, one, uh, 0 0.5 times this, 
we will find out that this is equal to 1.6875 okay now all we need to do is we will need to find bx by and bx again so if we want if we find bx and by we're done with this problem so in order to find b y and b x what we're going to do is that we're going to take into account the entire beam b z okay so let's draw a free body diagram of this beam b z i'm going to draw it over here on the right but i'm going to displace it later on on the bottom so we'll have my beam like this the reaction at my point b which is b x and b y what we want to find then I have a point C, this is a pin connection as well. Therefore, I'll have a CY and also a CX. The missing force that I have is this distributed load. We don't have, so we have this big square again. So all we need to do is multiply 1.5 times 3, which is the distance. And we'll find out that this is equal to 4.5. Okay, the distance, it's the same distance as point E, so this will be here. And it's 1.5 meters apart from both ends, okay? Now, that I have this, what I can do, so let's drag this free body diagram down here. What I can do is that I'm going to do the summatory of moment around my point C. Again, assuming counterclockwise is positive. And why am I doing that? Well, if I do a moment around here, I don't care about CX, I don't care about CY, and I don't care about BY. And my only unknown will be BX. So let's see how that, how that goes. So the first force I have is this four kilonewtons force, 4.5. And if I'm holding here, this will want to rotate counterclockwise. So I'll have positive 4.5 multiplied by the distance, which is 1.5. Now, Bx is in the opposite direction, therefore it's going to be negative, and the distance is 3, and this should be equal to 0. If we solve for Bx, we'll have 4.5 multiplied by 1.5, it gives me 6.75, and then we need to divide this by 3, okay? So if we divide this by 3, we'll get that Bx is equal to 2.25 kilonewtons. So, there were, the only unknown that I have right now is BY. And in order to do BY, we're going to take a different member. We're going to take the member AB in order to do a moment again, and then only having BY as an unknown. So, let's just start by drawing B, uh, member AB. So, it looks something like this. Okay. This is my point B. This is my point A. What do I have? Well, at A, it's pin connection again. So I will have AY, I'll have AX. At B, we need to take into account that in this directions, we draw when we were taking into this member. Now, into this member, in order to be in static equilibrium, the forces should be in the opposite direction. Therefore, BY, is going down and bx is going to my left okay so this is what i have and then also i have this distributed force that is a triangular so we need to find that triangular area which will have the height which is two and its base which is going to be this guy over here like this length and is given by these two guys which is three so two times three that will give me six but remember it's half of that. So we'll get an equal of three kilonewtons. Okay, the position will be one third from the long side. So one third from here and one third from the base, which is three is just one. So we have that from here to here, it's one meter. Now this is my free body diagram and we're going to work out with this guy over here. So let's move it down. We have it here. 
and we're going to apply the same thing the summatory of moment around my point a that way i don't have to find any reaction forces at a and what do we have let's just start with these three kilonewtons if i'm holding here and i have a force like this we want to rotate me clockwise so i'll have negative three kilonewtons multiplied by one meter okay next i'll have by so if i'm holding here it will want to rotate me like this so also negative so we'll have by and the distance is the distance from here to here uh, i don't think i draw in the free body diagram but it's from here to here which is equal to three meters okay so we'll have multiply by three meters and then the other force i have is bx which will want to rotate me like this which is counterclockwise so positive bx we know the value of vx which is 2.25 multiplied by the distance and the distance is about it's the distance from here to here which is also equal to three meters and all this should be equal to zero okay so we can cancel the threes so we can cancel three three and three and we'll end up is that by it's equal to 2.25 minus 1 which is equal to 1.25 kilonewtons so we got by and we got bx so let's plug them in so we have that this is equal to 2.25 minus bx well bx is also 2.25 therefore this is equal to 0 kilonewtons and e is equal to by therefore it's equal to 1.25 so we got 1.25 kilonewtons and for me what we'll have is that we'll have 1.5 multiplied by 2.25 minus 1.6875 oops and this will be equal to so we're going to apply 1.5 multiplied by 2.25 minus 1.6875 and actually gives me 1.6875 kilonewtons okay so if we round it up into two decimal places we got 1.69 kilonewtons so we found our shear force our normal force and our moment about pointing Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, please subscribe, put any comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.